In this video, we will take a look at creating scatter blocks in Stata. For our reference, we are using the aggregated dataset as shown in the first video of this playlist. So let's create uh, the similar kind of graphs that we created in the line plots videos, but this time we'll be doing scatter plots. So as we can see that this command two way scatter followed by the variable names, and we're doing it for only one race here. This does the job of creating a basic scatter plot. So now let's see how we can change different elements in the scatter plot. So I'll just run this code first and then we'll go through it. So this time we are adding marker labels and overlaying similar graphs for another race. So what we're doing here is two ways scatter followed by the variable names and then if race equals to one and then using this double pipe we can add another element or another graph within this object. So the second one is going to be for race equals to two and with the second one I'm specifying the option that the marker label is going to be year. So it's going to give us whatever year it refers to and this whole graph is going to be named G2. So now let's do further customization and see how we can change uh, other elements of the graph as well. So this is what we would like to create. We would like to see how we can give a title to the graph, a subtitle. We can change the marker labels and we can change the colors. We can add notes and we can give a caption. So this time instead of using pipes, I'm going to wrap each element or each different graph in parentheses. So this is one element of this object, let's say, and which is the first scatter plot of uh, wage versus year if race equals to one. And I'm specifying that the marker symbol is going to be diamonds and I'm changing the marker size to be 0 0.7. So this is the default marker size and this is when I'm specifying that the marker size needs to be smaller, so 0 0.7 points in this case. The second object is for race equals to two I'm changing the marker size to be 0 0.9. I'm keeping the marker symbol default, so I'm writing nothing here for the symbols. But I'm changing the marker color and I'm making it lavender. So Stata has different colors available. You can take a look at the color styles in the help section of Stata. And then I'm changing the labels using this command. So the label one, for, so the first object is going to be labeled white and the second object here is going to be labeled black. We can also add notes in our graphs, so we do this by invoking note and then within the parentheses whatever notes we'd like to keep. And if we want to create multi-lines, so we have two or three or more lines of notes, we can do this by putting each line in, in its own set of quotation marks. So as we can see, this is the first line of note, data points are natural logs of which, this is the second line and we can go on as we need to. And then we can give this title and we can also change the color of the text so in this case I'm uh, giving the example with a red color we can also add subtitle and similarly we can also change its color and text font size and other things as well and then we can also add a caption to the figure so which is we can do figure number and explain the graph here we can also put the caption on the center and we can do a whole lot of other things and you can take a look at the documentations and do further customizations if you need to so now let's do a similar scatter plot controlling the x-axis labels and its angle of label display. So let's take a look at what we are actually talking about. So we are basically creating a scatter plot and then we are also creating a line connected line plot. We have turned the x-axis labels uh, into 90 degree angle, yes. And we've also used different colors. So let's take a look at how we are doing this. So again, we have two objects and each of the objects are wrapped around its, in its own brackets. So in the first object, we have a scatter plot of wage versus year for race equals to three, which is others. The marker symbol is going to be diamond and marker color is going to be khaki. And the second object is creating a connected line graph for these two variables. The marker symbol, I would like it to be circles. I would like the marker symbol to be green colored and I would like the marker size to be 0 0.8. And this time I'm specifying how I would like to show the labels. So my labels are basically uh, start the minimum value is 68 and maximum is 88. And I would like it to be displayed by every two units. So 68, 70, 72 in this way. And the angle of display is going to be 90 degrees. So this is another uh, example of how we can control the x-axis labels and further customize uh, the graphs. 
If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.